Yo, yo, what's happening? What's happening? This your boy, man. Shout a Zo Pound. Shout a Zo Pound. Everybody out there, y'all, uh, like, subscribe, share, send all comments to all content. I'm back at work, if y'all wondering what I'm doing. I'm back at work. Me, I don't, I don't mind working, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get ahead. I done wasted a lot of my time, you know what I'm saying, uh, with the incarcerations and all that stuff, you know what I'm talking about. <coughs> if y'all can see my shirt, my shirt say King, right? This uh, post is just, uh, it's a coincidence that I got a shirt on that say King, you know what I'm saying? I got a medallion, a charm, or whatever you want to call it, of a queen, you know, and uh, I'm doing this post about King Harris, right? King, I know, I know you don't know me, bro. I know you don't know me, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to, I'm not finna get on her and be like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you talking this and you doing that to your parents. You got to listen to your sport. I'm not going to do none of that. You see what I'm saying? Because you know, you know what you're doing and what a lot of people don't understand is that no matter how much money a person is born into, they have their they own demons that they going through in life, you know? And King, you, you going through your own demons, whether self-created or whether, you know what I'm saying, not. I don't know your life like that, bro. I don't know your life like that at all. And uh, me, the object of being in the streets, what I was doing in the streets, man, was to get to where you at right now. I was, I always used to be that dude that wish I had a family, man, you know, that I can have Christmas time with, you know what I'm saying? And everybody loved me, you know what I'm saying? My family loved me. My pops loved me. My mom loved me. You know what I'm saying? My grandmamas loved me. My brothers and sisters loved me. You know what I'm saying? I didn't come up in that dynamic, bro. You know? Me, you know, I came up on a on a whole nother, a whole nother level. But for me to say that your actions is fake and flaw and all that, I can't really say that because even this is what I learned by doing time in prison. I done been locked up in different states from down south all the way to the to the west coast, you know? And uh, one thing I learned about prison is that you don't know bad until you really experience worse than what you, you normally used to. You don't know bad. And when I say when you experience it, I'm talking about firsthand, not on the inside looking out. You know, you not being, okay, I'm at this prison. I got transferred out here and uh I'm on I'm on a special I'm I'm on the SY yard, you know, special need yards with dropouts and stuff at. They get all the good treatment. Now I want to be on the level four yard, you know what I'm saying? I want to see what a what a real dude, you know what I'm saying? Cats don't really want to experience that that type of lifestyle because a cat like you, I'm not saying that you won't stand up for yourself and you won't fight. I've seen a lot of dudes that got hands. You can't whoop everybody. You can't shoot everybody. You can't stab everybody. You know? And it's stupid for a person to feel like, oh, I'm going to go out swinging. You only go out swinging, man, when your back is against the wall and that's the only that's your only way out. I'm, I'm going to die swinging. I'm going to die fighting. You know what I'm saying? That's your only out. You don't go out swinging because you didn't allow yourself to be put in a position to where I'm going to prove a point. You know? You don't have to prove a point. You know what I'm saying? You good. You know? You good. I heard you on, on, on the video. I didn't see the whole video. You know? And that's why I'd be wrong to even say anything towards what went on. I don't know y'all life. I don't know your dynamic. But I, I did hear you say one thing. You said you stand on business. 
I stand on business. Every man is supposed to stand on business. But every man shouldn't, you shouldn't create a problem. You know what I'm saying? Stand on business without creating a problem. Is what I'm saying. Your name is King, bro. If you ask your daddy, why did he name you King? That's because a person want to na name their kids something that they can live up to. And I feel your daddy, he probably, I feel T.I., he probably got that same idea. I'm going to name my son when he had, when he had you. I'm going to name my son King. I'm going to name my son Major. You know what I'm saying? Those, those right there give you a status in itself before you was even created. You know? You can't say that man didn't put some money in the bank when you was born. And as you was growing up, the man invested in you. You know what I'm saying? Without a pops like you got, you would never be known as the king you are. You know what I'm saying? And what I mean by that, I'm not talking about just your name. I'm talking about where people respect you, where people look at you. You could go anywhere in the world and the person notice you. That also come with, with, a, with a risk because you become a target. Cats notice you and they can put your whole family at risk because you got cats out here, man, that would kidnap you and extort your family out of money. All because you want to be reckless. You got cats that's in the streets that you know that you feel like your homeboys and you they come from your hood and they know your family but they hurt they really in the streets and they trying to get it and this the only way they see how bro what I, what what my advice to you is as you get older you're going to see that everybody's trying to tell you the right I'm not everybody because you just got playing out haters on the, on this social media stuff, man. But you got you got people out here, man, that really care about your well being, man, and know how much your dad and your mom love you, and know how much your family love you, and the dynamics. And we seeing it from the outside looking in, but we seeing it from the eyes of you trying to come to where we at. You know what I'm saying? You wanna be and walk in the shoes of where we at. I got to come to work every day. I'm working for somebody else to get them rich. I know you might listen to that and be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? That's not my problem. It's not yours. It's mine. But I'm doing this because I have to do this. You know what I'm saying? I was out there grinding. I was out there hustling. I was out there robbing. I was out there extorting. I was out there doing everything that I did. The stuff that got me in prison that had me doing the life without sentence. The stuff that, that when I was in prison, Laying cats down, all that stuff is stuff that I had to do to survive, bro, because I was in that lifestyle and I was forced in that lifestyle. You not forced in that lifestyle. You not forced in that lifestyle. So I give it up to uh to your pops, man. You know what I'm saying? He he doing the best he know how, you know what I'm saying, with, with what he got. And I see he's doing that, you know? So, you know, uh, bro, before time catch up with you and you realize it and you sitting in prison and you like, man, I should have listened or man, which is what I did. I set up in there, man, 30 years of prison time. I did, you know, I did 30 years. I just got out on the life without the possibility of release. And I say. I got out 2022. I said, I didn't start really, it didn't really start sinking in until like 2014. Man, I ain't got nothing to give my nieces. I ain't got nothing to do this. You know what I'm saying? And so I started going to the library and the law library and studying and fighting my way out. I'm home now. So if I got to work every day of my life, man, to build something, to pass down to either. I don't have kids, but to the kids that's coming out to me, whether it's the ones I create or the ones that's that's under me that, that look up to me as a father figure. I'm going to work every day. 
two, three jobs, four jobs if I if I can, if I have to, to make sure that I leave a legacy when I die. People respect me for the shit that I did good versus all the shit that I did bad, bro. That is why I'm out here grinding. I'm trying to turn the stuff that I went through, that I see cats that don't have to go through it, is trying to go through. I'm trying to change that on my end. If I could change it on my end, you see what I'm saying? That means we got this thing that we say that we gotta we gotta change the culture. You know what I'm saying? Somebody gotta break break the cycle. This is a cycle that I'm breaking, dealing with my bloodline. You see what I'm saying? To change the narrative and show cats that you don't have to stay in the mud just because you was born in the mud. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to stay in the mud. Them dudes that's in the mud, when you trying to be successful, them dudes going to stay in the mud and you trying to help them dudes, they going to pull you right in the mud. So, bro, you're not in the mud. My advice is, whether you probably already did it or what, you know what I'm saying? Sit down and have a conversation with your people, man. Find out your your, your angle. Because everybody your age, they think they know it. They think they got it. They think they don't need help. Once you hit that 30 going on 40 year mark, and you're still stuck in the mud, if your daddy pulled all of his plugs that he that he allowed you access, you don't even see that your daddy is the one that gave you access to all those plugs that you have. All your daddy have to do is be like, man, say, check this out. King think he can do it on his own. I don't want y'all dealing with King. He got y'all through me. He get, he started dealing with y'all through me. So all your contacts, all your plugs, all your promotions, all your everything just done. And you try to make it on your own. It's going to be real hard. I'm not saying you can't make it, bro. Your name is King. You can make it. You can do it. But what I'm saying is going to be way more harder than you think. Your daddy lighten your load. That's what he did for you. So appreciate that man. Your mama and your daddy lighten your load. I don't want to leave her out either. You know what I'm saying? They created a family to where you can have a nice cushion. So when you fall, you know what I'm saying, you don't bust your head. So appreciate them just for that alone if you don't appreciate them for nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Uh, BG, my God, man, you home. I was just bumping that song with you and uh, with you and, and Guwap. You know what I'm saying? You and Guwap, man, y'all y'all did that on that song, bro. That type of BG... That's what the world want. I'm telling you. That BG on that soul, you you did your thing on that, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was looking for you to get out and do. That's what I've been anticipating and buying and plugging into. That BG. You know what I'm saying? That's the new BG with the old BG twist. You still baby gangster, but you done grown up. Really, you done grown up from baby gangster. Even you need be jizzle. You know what I'm saying? You done grown up from baby gangster. You know what I'm saying? You ain't, you triple OG now. You know? So, uh, yeah, bro, uh, that, that feel, that's what I'm on. You know what I'm saying? But I know you make music for a certain class, but it's, it's people way more than me. And you trying to get your feel back. But that right there, they keep my ears tuned. You know what I'm saying? I love to hear BG man come with that. And this is another thing that I want you to do. I want you to focus on, right? Fuzz your music. Try to sell your voice, bro. Your voice is a brand in itself. You got a distinctive voice. And I believe other cats will agree with me on this. You can do, do uh, 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 voiceovers, cartoons. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying your voice sound like a cartoon. I'm just saying how stink, distinctive your voice is to where a person would buy into your voice alone. Uh. You can just get get on sell your voice on choruses. Tune into your voice, bro. You got a unique voice. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's just me trying to throw a little advice. You know what I'm saying? Take it or leave it. But uh, uh, get with get with one of them screaming series. Holla at baby and them while you you tuned in. Get with them screaming series. 
Make sure that you got majority of your, 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 your royalties and your, your proceeds from whatever you do. So you won't be in that same position you was in last time. You know what I'm saying? Own your own rights to all your stuff. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest with me, uh, you in a good position. I I probably try to get baby to uh shoot me a distribution deal or something. That's what I'd be shooting for. My own my own label behind good backing. You know what I'm saying? Good distribution. Like when you came out with that uh, uh Chopper City Records. You was doing good, but I don't, I don't think you really had a strong distribution behind you, but if you get a strong distribution behind you and you come with a, with an eight, 80, 85, 15 split, a lot of people don't want to do that 85, 15 split, but if they really got faith in you, if, if you come to a person, you BG, if you come to somebody and you like, man, I want to do a 85, 15 split, man, you know what I'm saying? On the distribution deal. I get the 85. Them folks, man, if they really believe in you, they going to do it because they still going to get paid. Just like P with priority. When P went, did that, that distribution deal with priority, look how much money he made priority. But look how much money he made himself. You see what I'm saying? Priority, they hate it the way that dude move. People probably won't even get a get a good deal like they like he did. But what I'm saying is shoot. Shoot high, bro. You know what I'm saying? Always shoot high. That's how business work. I go high. You go low. We're going to try to meet somewhere in the middle. If they got money, you trying to get money. So you always want to stay on the high road. You don't never let the people with money be on a higher level than you when they come down to the splits. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, I say if I was you, I, I wouldn't go no less than, I wouldn't go no less than 75. Because I know that once you hit your, get it, get, get your niche and get everything going, you got a bag in behind you right now. So, uh, yeah, bro, uh, don't go no less than 75. You shooting, you shooting for the, uh, the 85, 15, but don't go no less than, than, than 75. You know what I'm saying? 75, 25, you know, that just, I'm just giving advice, you know what I'm saying? You can take it or leave it. I'm a nobody, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here working. I'm out here, I'm, 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 I'm driving buses, you know what I'm talking about? I'm out here working, man, you know? So, uh, I don't know it all, but, uh, I know it all. I know one thing, if I head back and behind me, I'm doing this by myself. I ain't got no help. So I'm 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 making my own cushion. I'm making my own ground. I'm I'm creating my own lane. If I had cushion, if I had help, if I had backing, and I was in a position, I bet you I got a, a, a multi-billion dollar mind to where people were gonna listen and they're gonna be like, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? I believe in this guy. Man, uh, I'm at work, man. I'm finna sign out, man. I just did this. This video, man, really to reach out to King, but I also wanted to holler at my guy BG too. You know what I'm saying? Bro, like I said once before, uh, you home, bro. I'm 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 glad to see you home, fam. You know what I'm saying? This your this your your cuz, you know what I'm talking about? This your, your your fam, you know what I'm saying? I love to see that you home. I love to see that you getting your money. I want to see you prosper. And I know you didn't you didn't just sit up in the in the BOP. And just waste that time. So I'm 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 tuned in to see goddamn me uh see what BG is about to go. You know what I'm saying? BG about to blow the world mind. And I'm not trying to uh put no weight on you or nothing. But within a couple of years, I got a feeling, man, you gonna you finna do some great something real great. And it's just all in the making. So uh I salute, you know what I'm saying? Uh I get back at all my uh my viewers and my subscribers, man, later on. So y'all like, subscribe, share, you know what I'm saying, leave comments. I get back at y'all.